Hey guys, an excellent day today to test out some electrical motors. We have a fair bit of wind and it's not too cold. We've got a 32 LBS and a 60. Well, uh, this is my setup, look at that. Having my battery in a little case, just carrying this motor. I don't know what it weighs, but it's probably around about nine kilos. So you can carry it everywhere and uh, yeah, let's test it out. And look at this guys, how easy would you love to have the installation? Just chuck it on, turn the screws, connect the battery and you're good to go. Like the 32 is round about uh, half a horsepower and the 60 is round about a horsepower. Uh, this one will take round about or it will have round about 15 kilos of thrust. That one will have uh, like 30 kilos of thrust. So uh, yeah, let's see what it does. I got it connected to two batteries. Look at that. I've got a 20 amp battery and I've got a 40 amp battery. So well, they take round about, the 32 will take round about 25, 28 amps an hour. And the 60 will take about 40, 50 amps an hour. So let's say the 40 amp battery can do like 45 minutes. This can do for definitely an hour and the 20 amps battery will do around about half of that. So, uh, well, it's an easy system. You just connect two screws. You have this little button so you can tilt it. Look at that, nice one. This one you can take out or in. Steering, forward, backward. Yeah, I say, let's go for a little test drive. And it's a really good test today because, well, we have this boat. I've got a bigger boat. It's like 3,3 meters. Uh, the boat is around about 50 kilos. Then we have the batteries and I've got some spare batteries and some other stuff in here as well. So the boat is 50. The batteries are at least 25, that's 75. I am 75. So we have around about 150 kilos here. And uh, yeah, let's see what half a horsepower will do and like one horsepower will do. So uh, yeah, let's go guys. Let's tilt that motor up and let's see if it goes. Well, this is one, not too much. Two, three, four, five. Oh, this is quiet. So this is like half a horsepower with 150 kilos of material, persons and both. Not a lot, but uh, I think it should be enough to go upwind. Let's see. <laughs> so uh, this is not a lot of thrust, but this is really nice for fishing and getting to your boat. Like, this way beats pedaling. So half a horsepower and not too bad. Beats pedaling. And look at that, it's not deep. So we can go anywhere we want to. Yeah. Yep, reverse. And turn. Oh look at that. Look at that. Well that's really nice about the electric motors. They don't make any sound. You can go forward and backward. We just flip. Look at that. Awesome. I love electrical. It's like direct power and uh, yeah. This is like, we have like, probably like 12, 13 knots now of wind. And it, uh, yeah. Still goes forward. So uh, have a little, like take a 230 boat and this motor and it's an awesome fishing boat or go to your boat and uh, yeah. 
I'm stoked. I've got both motors tilted and you can see the 32 LBS has like a two propeller engine and uh, the 60 has a three propeller engine. Well, now let's see what happens with the 60, how much faster that is. I'm just gonna make it straight. Like you can adjust it any way you want to, just to be quicker. So now it's straight. Let's see. Oh, reverse. Forward. Okay. This is just number one. This is out, easier to steer. So, number one. Number two. Number three. Better. Number four. And number four. Oh, that really kicks in. That's way faster. So this is actually, that's definitely double the power. Like, that's only one horsepower, but yeah, that feels good. That feels really good. Like for this three and a half meter boat, this is definitely the motor. Like even with a strong wind, I guess I can, yeah, look at that. Even with strong wind, shouldn't have any problem yeah. so uh, yeah this is like one horsepower on like a little 40 amp battery yeah so that's uh, that's definitely the motor for this boat like the 32 you can have on the 2 meter 30 boat you know but if you have heavier boats take the 60 definitely and I'm gonna try out the 80 tomorrow but uh, yeah it's nice so, we have two engines, 60 and 32, 32 for little boats for children, perfect, this one taken on a bigger boat or when you want to go fishing and just look at that, now how easy is this, just an easy battery setup, two engines and let's try using both engines at the same time, let's see how that goes, let's connect that, so we have this on thrust, now just put this in there, there we go, wait, and switch it on. It's a shame that my, uh, it's a shame that my battery from my phone is dead because I would love to see how much knots we are doing. And I think we're doing roundabout. Right. That's a pretty decent speed having these two. Look at that. And look at that guys. There's my little seahorse. Look at this, this is my smile, this is my life, and uh, yeah, I'm never gonna come home again, guys. So guys, there you have it. So what's the conclusion? Well, the conclusion is, electrical motors these days, they do work awesome. Like the little ones even have more power than expected. We had like 150 kilo boats, and it still had a fair bit of thrust. Uh, well, they're light these days, look at that, they're easy to carry, they're easy to get on the boat, you can adjust them in every way possible, and uh, yeah, they're just so easy to use and maintain, you don't need the oil them, there's not many parts that can be broken, and they're cheap these days, like 119 euros starting at, 169 for the bigger one, I think that's a pretty good deal for your bucks. Another really nice thing with the electrical motors is the batteries, you just take them to work, recharge them, because you just put them in a the bag, they're not that heavy, recharge them, go back to your boat, yeah, and you have free power. So, uh, yeah, basically, no more buying oil, no more buying gas, and uh, yeah, awesome substitute for an electrical motor. Hey, hola, hombre! 
Good again. Yes. Yes. Wish you all the best. All the best from the Spanish. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year.